Serenity Towers receives a new citation, but representatives for the taxpayer-funded high-rise for seniors on Highland are feeling hopeful. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. Alex Coleman is off. WREG's Jessica Knox has the details on Serenity Towers. When do you think you guys will be able to truly have everything finished? Hopefully soon. After several court appearances, Judge Patrick Dandridge says Serenity Towers is finally making progress. And none of these are checked off the list. Mm -hmm. moved, there's movement on them, but we've got to get to a point where we have a plan in place of how it's going to operate so they can be off the list. Broken elevators, the lack of high water and air conditioning, and fire safety concerns are still the main discussions. As of today, most of those issues have been fixed. Two out of four of the elevators are working properly. The third elevator is expected to be fixed today, while the other, according to Serenity Towers, will be fixed on November 30th. These elevators are held by some of those residents for I don't know what reason. It, that's what happened yesterday. Someone was just holding it. I understand there are people there with assistive devices. I've seen them mm -hmm. that need a little more time. Mm -hmm. But we will ask the elevator repair people, Otis, what can be done. They plan to delay the timer on the elevator to allow those with disabilities to have more time. But it's not all good news. Pest control is now an issue. There are also concerns about trash in the hallway and the lack of secured windows and doors. We have a lot of areas where the windows just open. And these are pretty large open windows mm -hmm. uh, on the higher floors. So we want to make sure that, that we have screens in those windows. And all vacant units should be trashed out. Um, lock and secure. Serenity Tower says they will address leaks in the ceilings, fire hazards, and other complaints before the next court appearance. As for a permanent maintenance plan, that may be up to the new owner. There's been a public statement made about transferring a building at a public meeting, but any successors should be bound by the same terms which keep us in court now. Jessica Knox, WREG News, Channel 3.